Hey Ten, so I got a request for um, a video on what to do when we have fractions. So here it goes. So I have 4a over 3 minus b over 4 equals 6 and 5a over 6 plus b equals 13. So I can multiply this by anything as we saw earlier and I can multiply this equation by anything as we've seen all through elimination because I'm coming up with equivalent expressions. So if I label this one 1 and this one 2, in order to get started I actually want to clear the fractions because I find that it's much easier to work with two equations that don't have fractions. So if we take a look at number 1 here, we have a denominator of 3 and a denominator of 4. So what we're looking for is, um, is the number, right, the, the lowest common multiple of both of those numbers. So 3 has factors of 3 of 1 and 4 has factors of 2 and 2. So in order to find the lowest common multiple here, right, so I'm going to do lowest common multiple, it's actually going to be 3 times 4, which is 12. All right, so what that means then is I want to multiply this whole expression by 12 in order to clear my fraction. So if I look here, I also have fractions. Fortunately, I only have one. So then I know that my lowest common multiple of, of that is 6. All right, so that means I want to multiply this whole expression by 6. So let's go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to draw a line so I can show you some of the math as we go along. All right, especially for those of you that are like fractions. Um, so first I want to multiply 12 by 4a over 3. All right, so I'm going to do that over here. 12 times 4a over 3. So remember when you multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. So if, if you think of this, this is just 12 over 1, right? 12 over 1 is 12. So we can multiply 12 by 4 and we get um, 48a um, over 3. And then we know that 48 divided by 3 is just 16. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I forgot to show you the reason why we got three was we did one times three. So whenever you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So I have 48 over three, which is 16. So now I have 16a, all right? Then I'm gonna multiply 12 by b over four, okay? So I'm just gonna put my subtract here. So I have 12 times b over four. So once again, right, it's just gonna be 12 times b, which is 12b, over one times four, which is four. And 12 divided by four is three b. So I have 16a minus three b equals, and 12 times six is 72. So this equation and this equation are equivalent. If you were to graph them, they would graph the exact same line. Um, so now let's take a look at number two. All right, so now I have six times five a minus six. So I'm gonna do six times five a, sorry, divided by six, right? Which is just six times one. Um, so six times five is 30. and six times one is six, and 30 divided by six is just five. So now I have five A, right? And then six times B is six B, and six times 13 is 78. And now I have two expressions, right? They're equivalent. We're no longer dealing with one and two. These are now three and four, okay? The equation three and equation one, they're equivalent expressions. And equation four and equation two are equivalent expressions. So now I have equivalent expressions and I can simply go ahead and do my normal method of elimination, all right? So I, um, I looked here and I noticed that um, three and six, right? It's just double. So I'm going to actually eliminate the B's. Okay, so that's the one I want to eliminate. 
Now I know that all I have to do is double three and I get six. So I'm actually just gonna multiply this one again by two. So now I have two times 16 is 32a. Two times negative three b is negative six b. And two times 72 is 144. And I don't have to do anything to this one because it already has that 6b. So I have 5a plus 6b equals 78. So I'm eliminating the b's, right? That's the one I want to eliminate. So I'm just going to highlight it for you again. To eliminate it, I know I have one negative and one positive. So whenever I have a negative and a positive to eliminate, I need to add. So I'm going to add all of these up. So 32a plus 5a is 37a. Negative 6b and 6b and positive 6b, when I add them up, that gets eliminated. And 144 plus 78 is 222. Um, so now I can divide both sides by 37. So I'm going to divide this side by 37, and I'm going to divide this side by 37. And when I do that, I end up with a is equal to 6. So now I know what a is. So I'm halfway to finish my, my um, question, right? Because now I just need to figure out what b is. So I need to substitute a into one of these equations and um, I don't obviously want to substitute it back into here because I'm working with fractions again or into here because I'm working with fractions again. So I'm going to take a look at this one and this one has the smallest number so I'm going to substitute a equals 6 back into number 4. So I'm going to do 5, um, so I'm just going to let me write that, 5a plus 6b equals 78. Okay, so I know that a is 6, so I have 5, I replace a with 6, plus 6b equals 78. Um, then I have 30 plus 6b equals 78. Um, I'm running out of a little bit of room here, so I'm just going to put a, um, a dotted line down here so that I know like it's separate when I'm looking at it okay so I'm just going to continue over here probably don't need much more room so I'll just start like here so I have 30 and I'm just rewriting it so that I don't lose track plus 6b equals 78 so now I want to subtract 30 from both sides so now I have 6b equals 48 then I need to divide both sides by 6, and I have b equals 8. So now I have my answer, right? So therefore, a equals 6, and b equals 8. All right, tens, I hope that helps.